You know what, people? Politics should be about policy. If you're new to this channel, you might go, okay, that's quite an obvious statement. What gives? If you aren't new, you might go, oh, this could get ugly. And you would be correct. If you ever wondered why leftists continue to be such bitter morons, and my goodness, this article would be an excellent example as to why. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, mind you, mainly because I don't want to overwhelm you with an outrageously stupid amount of cringe, or face by myself to the point where it looks like I've been the unwitting participant in a gangbang with a bunch of blind homosexuals. And if you're thinking, oof, that sounds rough, I know, I said the same thing post-gangbang. You haven't lived till you see a bunch of blind homosexuals try and high-five each other, it's hilarious. Blame the coffee. Uh, I noticed a few minutes ago this was written by a woman, which explains why a single pole is the only thing that remotely resembles a fact in this gushing pipe of shite. No offense to you sensible ladies of good virtue who write competently like Molly Hemingway over at The Federalist or Sasha Stone. But anyway, this is about Raphael Warnock versus Herschel Walker, the Senate race over there in Georgia. And again, female no facts, so you can guess how this is going to go down. So I'll just pick some of the worst highlights here. And I'll link it down below so you can read it for yourself. So much has been said about Herschel Walker's gross incompetency as he takes aim at securing a seat in the U.S. Senate. What she is basing this on... She won't say. I have no fucking idea. Walker is trying to get into the Senate, so what this alleged incompetence is based on, who the hell knows? Since the rise of Donald Trump, ugh, the pursuit and upkeep of democracy, cry more, is slipping away before our eyes, morphing into his vision of totalitarianism by way of misinformation indoctrination, says the party who thinks women can have a penis while also claiming to be the party of science. Walker's ascending candidacy, endorsed by Trump, has proved just that. More fear-mongering shite. I do love how it's called the rise of Trump, as if he is responsible for any of this. When you look at America over the last, say, 30 bloody years or so, every time there is a Democrat in office, they've taken record-breaking defeats. Trump is just the latest version of a historical trend that shows Democrats fucking suck. Gleefully incited a takedown of democracy over January 6, more of this pathetic bollocks, there is no way a man who can barely form a coherent sentence could convince reasonable citizens that he... That describes Fetterman in Pennsylvania, by the way. When Walker debated Warnock, he won the debate and went up in the polls. Jeez, I can't imagine why. Over a well-respected, educated pastor was the better choice. How the hell are you, supposedly a Nigerian immigrant, claim to be Christian and support the party of up to nine months baby killing with a straight face? Try and explain that one to us. Then some more crap about him not knowing the Constitution whilst also not mentioning anything about the Constitution, of course. He's only an athlete, sexual assaults, objectification of women, which is hilarious. This is the party of Clinton, after all, and the current guy who thinks he's president openly acts horribly inappropriate and cops a feel. The shit Trump could never do in a million years, and if he did, you two-faced hypocrites would call him a pedophile all over the news. Ah, but when you have a D next to your name, seemingly you can give anything on two legs. The D, and age is just the number. Oh, this is a juicy bit as well. Walker symbolizes the stereotyped black man, forever misunderstood. He's being paraded around by GOP leaders as a pervasive caricature of who black Americans, specifically men, have been typecast to be. Illiterate, lazy, only good at being an athlete, absent father and a dunce. And he wears it like a prize, and Georgia voters, predominantly white Americans, love all of it. This is the kind of black candidate they want. The antithesis of Warnock. Okay, first of all, strip the absent father and athlete from that list. You literally have AOC to a fucking T. Secondly, that's how you view black American men, you prejudicial bitch. This is the bit that irked me the most. Are you so fucking stupid? To think a bunch of white Americans, who you clearly think are racist, by the way, with all of these qualities you think they think Walker has, and those white people are gonna vote for a black dude they think is inferior to them. Why? Why, why would they do that? Like, just the level of fucking retardation with these people is overwhelming. And then the article ends with the usual shit of January 6th, my fascismus and abortion, which again, coming from a so-called Christian author is hilarious. All this stupid crap that no one gives a flying fuck about. The abortion argument is hilarious because you know these hats will give Trump grief for being pro-life yet with loose morals. Yet a stupid bin like this one will claim to be Christian yet pro-choice, which makes no fucking sense. But when I finish reading this TP not fit to wipe my shiny ass, I'm thinking to myself, 
What in the hell did I just read here? This was on Real Clear Politics as well. RCP, what gives, man? The name gives you guys away. Politics. This is why I said politics should be about policy, which isn't anywhere near this discount headpiece. I mean, character assassination is one thing, but you didn't even tell me why your candidate is better. Like, what, what's his take on the inflation rate, the economy, Russia, immigration? Not a fucking clue. If you took this article as a means to showcase why anyone would vote for either candidate, for that matter, you'd be none the wiser. This is the sorry-ass state of so-called journalism in the modern-day world of politics. Just some whiny-ass banshee autistically screeching about issues no one even remotely concerns themselves with. This woman is supposed to be some award-winning writer as well. My lord, if this is your contribution to journalism, do the world a favor, shut the hell up and retire from the profession effective immediately. You're an embarrassment to the English language. And that is all for today. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.